1492 was the year that would become famous for the Spanish Empire's history. With the discovery of the New World and final expulsion of the Moors from the Iberian Peninsula, the Spanish Empire emerged victorious and globalized superpower. This political and economic success, followed by a cultural revolution that would mimic that of Italy, incorporating its collective style of Catholic, Muslim, and Jewish settlers. Although this time is referenced as a peaceful time period, also indicated as Covienza or coexistence, the Spanish Golden Age was marked by religious turmoil as the Spanish Empire attempted to establish a dominant Catholic identity and to erase all the traces of its Jewish and Muslim ancestors. Let's check it out. Granada Cathedral The Cathedral of Granada is the most accurate symbol of the new Spanish identity. It was raised on a previous chapel. The cathedral was meant to signify a departure from Muslim influence. Although the plans were started by Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand, the cathedral didn't start being built until the end of their reign in 1518 and was later continued by their son Charles V. The first blueprint of the cathedral was meant to have a Gothic style, in allusion to the Spanish practice of converting old reconquered chapels into the cathedrals during the Middle Ages. But it's the second architect, Diego de Silo, had a much more modern vision. Instead, he drew from the new influence of the Renaissance. The precise arrangements of columns, semicircular arches, the focus on symmetry and elegant decorations show the merging style of the elaborate Hispano-Flemish and the classical architecture of the Renaissance. Its rectangular opening towards the altar is also a result of its underlying Muslim architecture as many European churches hid the altar away during Mass. Hispano-Flemish Style Spanish Renaissance art displays influences from Flanders and Italy as artists from Europe traveled and sought favor with the Spanish court. Hispano-Flemish style was a combination of Spanish and Flemish elements. During this period, the artwork seemed very appealing with all wealthy charm of gold and details. It was common for Flemish painters to send paintings out to patrons in Spain. Spanish royalty collected many famous paintings, at the time which also affected the path of Spanish art. Charles V. Although Hispano-Flemish style was important during Ferdinand and Isabella's reign, classical Renaissance influence flourished under Charles V. In the first half of the 16th century, during the reign of Charles V, many Spanish painters went to Italy to study while Italian painters visited their court. Italian humanistic thoughts also had a great impact on Spain. The Virgin Nursing Child by Luis Morales is a direct shout out to Michelangelo's realistic and elongated style. Through the tiles of the beheading of Baptist by Pedro Bruguet, the linear perception popularized by Brunelleschi is shown. Philip II. During the second half of the 16th century, when Philip II came into power, he expressed a dislike for humanism and instead commissioned for more conservative art. Philip II was a firm and passionate Catholic, and the Spanish rulers believed that any notion of standing up to Catholicism or its reasonable teachings was evil and should be purged. His strict obedience to Catholicism was a piece of Spanish Inquisition. However, after the Inquisition placed pressure on Catholic followers, the classification of Catholic identity of the Spanish lost its ordered meaning. As a result, a new class a distinction between old Christians and new Christians arose out of the anxieties for a tangible national identity. Old Christians, the original Spanish, were extremely blessed with manhood and the glory of war, whereas new Christians commonly changed many Jews and Muslims would be weakened. El Greco and the Burial of Count Orgaz Al Greco went to Rome in 1570 and then later to Spain. In 1577, he settled in the ancient city of Toledo, four hours' drive from Madrid. He brought to Spain the Venetian style of painting, particularly the Tintoretto style, and later created a style of his own. Al Greco painted King Philip II. Toledo was a city full of passionate beliefs, so Greco created many large religious paintings for the local churches. For example, 
The Holy Family was St. Mary, Magdalene, Toledo, the Purification of the Temple, and the Last Supper. Burial of the Count Orgas is one of El Greco's most important paintings completed in 1588. This oil on canvas painting was commissioned by the Spanish priest in order to honor Count Orgas, who was on top. The legend goes that in 1323, when the Count Orgas was buried, two holy men suddenly fell from the sky. Dressed in gold, they walked towards the crowd and picked up the dead Count and placed him in a bin. When this miracle appeared, it caused people to attend the funeral to be frightened. Some were busy reciting scriptures, some were looking up to the sky, some were thinking, and others amazed. His work is a mirror that reveals the reality of Spain's crumbling old noble world. This is where the value of Greco's art lies, in a way that no other style painters can do. So now we have seen a glimpse into what it was like in the art world, as well as political and social perspective during the Golden Age of Spain. Although the Spanish Golden Age was marred by religious conflict, there can be no denying of the cultural masterpieces it produced. Pieces that would outlive the very empire which produced them for centuries to come.